You're all very welcome to our screencast on how to set up a Facebook business manager and manage all of your client business pages and ad accounts through one space. So we go to business.facebook.com and it brings us to this screen here. We're going to begin by creating an account and we use our email address to begin. Let's just click on the create account button. And that brings us here and we must log in to continue so we can use our personal email address if we have a Facebook account or we have to sign up for one if we haven't got one already so when we're logged in we can see all of the pages that we manage and all of the accounts that we run ads through now you may not have any pages that you manage it's yourself there or any ads account created so let's look at setting that up we do this in the business manager settings and in the settings area we can see all the details about the pages and partners we use to manage our pages and our ad accounts so if you want to add people users to your ad account people on your team you can do that in the people section here of the users um, areas depending on where you are so on pages or ad accounts etc um, if you want to import pages from your clients, we click on this and then we can add a page and we can choose to add a page, request access to a page or create a new page. If you're doing it for your own business and you haven't got a Facebook page, this is where you should do it. If you want to import a client's business page so you can manage it, this is where you do that here. And if you want to add a page that you already have access to through your normal Facebook profile, you can just add it in here. Likewise, with ad accounts, we can add an ad account which we already own um, ourselves. We can request access from a client account or we can create a new ad account. Um, we can add our Instagram accounts, apps. We can uh, add some detail about the business we're in and different things. Um, if we want to do things like import our e-commerce store, we can do this in the catalog section here. So this will allow us to run uh, product listing ads on Facebook itself. If we want to manage the pixels, the pixels are a remarketing pixel or our conversion pixel. We can do that in here. And then we've got some other offline event sets, uh, different conversions that we can create ourselves, uh, source groups and shared audiences, which are the remarketing list that we use. And um, we've also these other features around brand safety, registrations and integrations. We have our payments and our standard administrative pieces here. So within Facebook Business Manager, it's a very powerful tool for just managing a bunch of different ad accounts or indeed a um, number of different pages as well. We have, and I'll just go back to the, the uh, start screen here. So we do have a drop down area here which shows us all of the different areas we can look at including our analytics attribution testing and um, our different areas around ads manager or pages and uh, anything we want to do with our apps and uh, we've got audience insights and campaign planner here different assets all of the different areas of Facebook and indeed Instagram advertising can be managed through here and it's a very simple and straightforward way of managing multiple accounts very quickly. So I'd encourage everyone to who does work with, with Facebook advertising or Facebook pages to set up a Facebook business manager account and not run it through your personal profile anymore where this is your core area for all of your digital marketing work because it gives you access to more features and more functionality and it's free. So anything you're doing on Facebook or Instagram, Facebook Business Manager is where you do it. Um, and the URL for that is business.facebook.com. So let's take a quick look at setting up a page and managing a page through Business Manager. So our pages area are up the top and our ad account area is down the bottom. Let's click into a page. So once your page loads up, we're able to see a business profile here. Now this is very important. You shouldn't use a personal Facebook profile 
to do any business or digital marketing activity because you can't do any advertising and it limits the amount of functionality you can do to engage with your audience. So always use a Facebook business page, which is what we can set up in the business manager here. And you get an experience like this where you have your video up the top, you've got your profile picture, um, you have a number of reviews and recommendations, and then your posts will appear, photos, different things like that. Down the left hand side, we've all of the different areas that we can look at. And indeed, we can include things like our maps, um, locations, phone number, all of that stuff. We can see our followers. We can just see some detail about what we want to do. Up the top here, we have an important menu which shows us our page itself. Inbox communications with our followers, notifications about our page, insights where we see data about our audience, and publishing tools. I'll go into insights in another screencast and we'll talk about that, but for the moment, let's look at publishing tools. And within publishing tools, we can see our posts, we can see different actions and reach around them. We have a left hand menu here which shows us different details about our posts themselves, about the videos, about the tools we use, jobs and um, content around brands, leads, ads, forms is quite important. If you're doing any kind of lead generation on Facebook, you must create a form here and it's stored in the forms library and then you're able to set up your leads from there. If you want to have a creative and interesting mobile experience, you can click in on the canvas area and design your own Facebook splash page and landing area with different features to engage a mobile audience. Likewise, there are some interesting tools around the Creator Studio and in the Sound Collection area. This is always growing, always being developed. So do check the publishing tools from time to time and see what's in there and just play around with certainly the creative area in tools and indeed the canvas area. Quite important again, if you're doing lead stuff, you should focus that in here. So in a nutshell, that is a whistle stop tour of the Facebook page area in Business Manager. Would encourage you to explore it yourself and start playing with these interesting features of Facebook Business Manager. These features that are more developed in Business Manager than the traditional Facebook experience. So definitely go in there and definitely explore this area. And finally, before we finish, um, I, the settings area is somewhere you can explore to do different administrative things to your account. Uh, we'll have a quick look now. In the settings area, we have our left hand menu here, which will show different levels of the settings, including things like information around our page and what we try and do with our business itself. If you want to add roles, people to the account, people to look and have access to our stuff, authorizations, different branded content, include Instagram, all of the different features are all here. And that is Facebook Business Manager for digital marketers.